Are you a diehard fan of Ghost Rider movies and Nicolas Cage? Then you may hear a piece of good news and bad news regarding the Ghost Rider franchise and your favorite actor, Cage. So, what is it? Let's see. Marvel's Ghost Rider blasted its weight into theaters in 2007. An additional Marvel Comics character was given to life on the big screen in the superhero horror film about the stunt motorcyclist who strikes a deal with the devil. Both Ghost Rider movies are part of the same storyline, with Johnny Blaze as the main character and events centered around him. Although the movies are from the same series and were made in chronological order, it should be emphasized that they only have loose connections. While 2007's Ghost Rider did well financially upon its theatrical premiere, it did not receive a lot of positive reviews. As a result, Spirit of Vengeance from 2012 was intended to serve as a gentle reboot of the franchise. With Nicolas Cage as an exception, the Ghost Rider film cast vary between the two films. Only Cage, who plays Blaze in both films, is an actor who makes an appearance. Eva Mendes, Wes Bentley, Nana Lug, Peter Fonda, Rebel Wilson, Fergus Riordan, Sierra Hines, Idris Alba, Christopher Lambert, and Spencer Wilding are notable actors who have appeared in the Ghost Rider series. Three different filmmakers contributed to the Ghost Rider movies. Mark Steven Johnson and Ghost Rider director Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was directed by Mark Nevelden and Brian Taylor. Although Ghost Rider isn't the most wonderful Marvel movie, it does have a certain charm and is widely regarded as the better of the two movies in the collection. Spirit of Vengeance is a far less compelling film that is not as widely remembered. So, the bad news first. It seems that Ghost Rider 3 may not happen. Sources across the internet suggest that the third sequel may not happen due to a variety of reasons. Want to know why? Despite their flaws, Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider and its soft remake, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, generated some interest in Ghost Rider 3. A renewed interest in including Johnny Blaze has emerged since Marvel regained ownership of the furious demonic character's rights in 2013. So here is the good news. It only makes sense that Ghost Rider would show up at some time in the Multiverse Saga as Marvel continues to grow its roster of iconic comic book characters. This does not necessarily imply that Ghost Rider 3 cannot still take place though. The MCU is more likely to go in a whole other way rather than a sequel to further develop the spirit of vengeance in live action. The truth is that for Ghost Rider's MCU debut to succeed, it must set itself apart from the first two films. Here are several reasons why Ghost Rider 3 is unlikely to happen in a scenario in which Nicolas Cage might play Johnny Blaze in a different movie. While Nicolas Cage was as entertaining as Johnny Blaze, it seems unlikely that Ghost Rider 3 will ever be made. When the first Ghost Rider movie debuted in 2007, the state of comic book movies had changed. An R rating would have likely been more appropriate for the big-budget, PG-13 adventure film which featured a character that can transform into a demon with a burning head. Despite wearing a dreadful wig, Cage's lead performance was well-received. However, the film Ghost Rider garnered harsh criticism for its shouty CGI, dull villain, and weak plot. Both Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance are still regarded as among Nick Cage's worst superhero films. Nevertheless, Ghost Rider was a commercial success, hence a sequel was approved. The Dark Knight and Iron Man, two game changers that came out the following year, showed that the genre had undergone a significant transformation. Early indications suggested Ghost Rider's Spirit of Vengeance would be an upgrade over the critically panned original movie. Crank co-directors Mark Neveldine and Brian Taylor were in charge, the movie was described as a soft reboot and Idris Alba and Christopher Lambert were among the supporting players. Even though Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was superior and featured a few entertaining action sequences, it was still a subpar comic book film. Superheroes have advanced significantly since 2008's Iron Man. With Marvel's entry into series-based narrative, the MCU's multiverse saga, and the culmination of the Infinity Saga in adventures and games stretching the genre's limits. Movies like Ghost Rider have aged horribly, especially in light of how sophisticated superhero storytelling has grown. It would be more beneficial for the MCU to explore its interpretation of the character rather than Ghost Rider 3. Ghost Rider 3 is made much less likely by Ghost Rider 2, 
Even while Ghost Rider did well at the box office, its negative reviews could not be disregarded. Sony recognized the value of creating a sequel using the character, though perhaps not quite in the same manner as the first film. The budget for Ghost Rider's Spirit of Vengeance was cut, and Johnny Blaze's origin story was somewhat changed to suggest that the original film never took place. The sequel had Neville Dean and Taylor's signature energetic style, but the flimsy plot and one-dimensional characters failed to wow. Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was also released in 2012, a year before Marvel began MCU Phase 2, a period which the MCU started laying the groundwork for long-term storytelling, dominated the genre and published content that was incomparably superior to the Ghost Rider films. Additionally, by 2013, Cage had all but ruled himself out of appearing in Ghost Rider 3. Ever since, he has lamented the fact that the studio wasn't bold enough to produce an R-rated film starring the character, especially in light of Deadpool's success. The co-directors of Spirit of Vengeance regret that the movie wasn't a bloodier, darker production that capitalized on the character's horror-based beginnings. Ghost Rider 3 was shelved in the wake of Ghost Rider's Spirit of Vengeance lackluster reception and Nick Cage's outright disinterest in making a follow-up. After the character's rights were turned to Marvel in 2013, Gabriel Luna's Robbie Reyes, playing Ghost Rider, made an appearance in Season 4 of the highly regarded Marvel television series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Additionally, it would seem that Marvel has no interest in producing a Ghost Rider film, and even if they did, it's quite improbable that they would bring back the Johnny Blaze character played by Nicolas Cage. The Ghost Rider movies itself also don't have the best reputation among fans, in addition to Cage already having ruled out a comeback. Nicolas Cage in an R-rated Ghost Rider 3 sounds like it could be a joy, but regrettably, it seems like the first film came out too soon. In the future, there's a chance he might be vindicated on the big screen, but it definitely won't happen in Ghost Rider 3. Ghost Rider was clearly wasted by Marvel as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is no longer considered canon in the MCU. Despite this, there is still a strong desire for the character to transition to live action in the modern Marvel Universe. Marvel has already set the foundation for Ghost Rider's ideal MCU entry with the introduction of excursions into the multiverse. In Avengers Secret Wars, the 2026 MCU Phase 6 film that will feature the conclusion of Marvel's multiverse and alternate plot setups, Nicolas Cage's Johnny Blaze can finally make his long-awaited comeback after appearing in Ghost Rider 3 and other Ghost Rider sequels. Avengers Secret Wars, which is based on arguably the most revered Marvel Comics events, is essentially about a massive incursion that condenses the multiverse into a single location called Battle World. This spectacle is expected to feature cross-franchise variants like Multiverse of Madness's Earth 838 Illuminati. One of several iconic comic book characters who might make an appearance in the sixth Avengers film is Nick Cage's Johnny Blaze. In actuality, both Johnny Blaze, played by Nicolas Cage, and Robbie Reyes, played by Gabriel Luna, could be separate iterations of Ghost Rider from other alternate realities. In any event, even if Ghost Rider 3 won't be arriving in theaters anytime soon, there will be many chances for the Spirit of Vengeance to make a live-action comeback through the multiverse saga. On forums and social media, there is talk of Keanu Reeves playing Johnny Blaze in a prospective sequel to Ghost Rider 3. This is partly because of a fan-made trailer that imagines a what-if scenario in which Keanu Reeves replaces Nicolas Cage as the Ghost Rider actor. Here is what is currently known about Keanu Reeves joining the MCU. There wasn't even any word that a new Ghost Rider movie was in the works at the same time this video was being made. Like the hero, the IP is currently in a condition of limbo. The idea of Keanu Reeves playing Ghost Rider is not new. Reeves has previously shown interest in the role. Reeves announced his dream Marvel role on Jimmy Kimmel Live back in October 22, indicating that it is Ghost Rider. Several fan-made trailers promote Keanu Reeves' Ghost Rider character. The most recent by Strider HD blends clips from John Wick and Constantine with Nicolas Cage from the original Ghost Rider movie. That's it guys! Do you think Ghost Rider will come back in the last Avengers movie? Comment below! Also, for more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.